sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13. So that means if you are under the age of 13, get the hell out of here. And you can come back when you are 13. So what is going on, my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here, and today in this video we do have another action figure haul and unboxing. I'm going to call it action figure instead of toy or adult action figure collectible uh, haul and unboxing. But uh, for now, I'm going to keep uploading videos on YouTube. I recently saw a video that Charmus Prime made, which kind of a... Uh, uh, put my mind at ease a little bit there's still that that paranoia about this copa law but I, I i think my channel should be all right uh, i'm just going to keep putting uh these videos or for, for not for anyone under the age of 13 hopefully that'll help out and if you are under the age of 13 so 12 years and under please do not watch my videos uh, i do not give you permission to watch my videos you're gonna ruin channels like this and this is where the whole copa thing is 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 going to be attacking channels because of stuff like that so please do not watch my videos come back when you are of age 13 and older please thank you very much but like i said i'm going to keep uploading videos on to here i think i i have till the end of the year till this copa law fully takes effect or youtube's um YouTube's new thing with this COPA thing takes effect, which it, which I believe will start January 1st, 2020, or by around Christmas or something like that. So, so I'm just I'm just gonna do this for now. So, I did get a few things in the mail here. I got something from Ageless Geeks, something off eBay, and I got something or a couple things off eBay, and I got something at uh, Best Buy. I believe it was and there's a lot of figure news I, I have a bunch of videos I'm gonna be uploading this weekend plus I'm gonna be doing a podcast with a couple of friends of mine tomorrow and they should upload the video tomorrow so I will post the link on my channel as well so let's get into it right away and the first thing I got from Ageless Geeks here as you saw I did just make a review of the custom uh, Super Saiyan Goku hair sculpt by Sky Studios and like I said I really dig the way this turned out some people like it some people don't Personally, I think it's pretty damn cool, man, and I do dig the way it looks on the Saiyan Raised on Earth Sun Goku figurine there. And the other thing I got from Ageless Geeks is a mint in box uh, Storm Collectible Cyrax. Like I said, Cyrax, Sector, and Raiden are like my all-time favorite Mortal Kombat characters, along with Reptile as well. So I got those from Ageless Geeks, and he's going to be having a huge black friday sale i believe so be sure to check out his website around black friday and uh maybe like cyber monday as well i think it's more of a black friday sale so be sure to check out the ageless geeks website to get some good deals on figurines and some other stuff i got here i shouldn't have bought this but uh, i mean i should have saw this coming to my shenanigans is making ig 11 here but i did buy the black series one which is pretty cool actually it's it's really not a bad figure at all I, I might not even get uh the sh figure arts one i don't think i'm gonna review it i mean i try not to review hasbro stuff because that, that that's that could get your videos uh dinged saying it's meant for kids you know what i mean i mean star wars will pretty much get dinged because it's technically i guess meant for kids but it's meant for adults as well so the whole thing's just so confusing damn it so i did get that there and then the one figure i went around saturday i went to 11 freaking different stores looking for this goddamn figure and i ended up just ordering one off ebay because i couldn't find it and i'm glad i did even though we are getting an sh figure arts version of it because i did get the the carbonized version of the mandalorian here from the black series which is a pretty cool figure it's really not bad they have updated some of their articulation which is definitely awesome for what this originally costs around like 22 dollars with tax and like i said man it's really not a bad figure and i do like the way his helmet looks more than the sh figure arts one but overall the sh figure arts one will be a much uh better and more fun figure to pose around and i'm hoping he is included with spoilers spoilers if you have not watched the mandalorian which i don't know why you haven't yet what the hell are you waiting for pause this and go watch right now and then continue watching this but i hope the sh figure arts version is included with a baby 
Yoda. How can you not include Baby Yoda with the Mandalorian? Come on, what are you guys doing? Unless they make a separate figure for it, which will be outrageous, man, because they'll probably charge like 50 bucks for it or make it a web exclusive like Yoda and charge like you know, it'll cost like 90 to 100 bucks but uh this is going to be my next review so be on the lookout for that like i said i rarely rarely review black series like hasbro figures but i have to with the mandalorian because that that series is phenomenal man it's my favorite series as of right now it has brought my love for star wars back the last jedi really really killed my interest and love for star wars it really did i just didn't want to collect the figures anymore i sold off my star wars collection i just didn't want to watch star wars stuff i didn't care for it i mean i did watch the han solo movie which was pretty good actually it really wasn't that bad people made it made it out like it was the worst movie ever made which it wasn't the last jedi was worse uh but yeah the last jedi ryan johnson just killed my love for star wars and the mandalorian just brought it right back i i i personally think it is the best thing that happened to star wars since the original trilogy that is how good this series is if you don't have disney plus i recommend getting it to watch the show or wait five weeks i believe the series is gonna be eight episode season one they're they're already greenlit season two and i think they're going to start filming it soon but i believe it's eight episodes for season one which kind of sucks i would prefer a lot more episodes than that but if you want to wait five more weeks because they're on episode three today every friday there's a new episode if you wait five weeks get disney plus you can watch the entire first season then but it's such a great show, man. I had to go get the figure. And like I said, I don't collect Hasbro figures, man. All right, so the next thingamajinger here that I got, I don't know what this is. I think I know what it is. I could be mistaken. So let's find out. All right, yeah. I, yep, okay, I know what it is now. And like I said, I sold my Star Wars collection, but like I said, The Mandalorian brought my love back for of for star wars and i ended up getting the sh figure arts jango fett it's not the best figure but jango is one of my favorite star wars characters and uh i gotta have him to go with the mandalorian there man so really glad i, I ended up getting this before his price sky skyrockets randomly at some random time you know what i mean so i did get that i already reviewed it if you want to check it out it'll be on my channel just go under my star wars action figure uh reviews playlist and you'll find it right on there i believe it's on there it's on my channel i know i reviewed it and the last thing i got here is something i i haven't ever gotten before but i ended up getting it because because it's probably a pretty cool figure and it is the sh figure hearts Jango Fett from Return of the Jedi and the only Jango Fett figures I've had or the the only Boba Fett figures did I say Jango it's Boba Fett okay from Return of the Jedi sorry I got the father and son's names mixed up but um the only Boba Fett figures I've had was the Revil Tech one which was is a really cool figure it's a it's a dope uh Boba Fett figure it's it's a little stylized it, it's not entirely accurate I mean the suit seems to be but he, he is a bit stylized but it is a pretty cool figure and i've also had the mafex the empire strikes back uh boba fett so I'll, I'll see if i will end up liking this one better than those two i think i liked i don't know which one i liked more between the mafex uh empire strikes back and the revil tech version so uh we'll get this guy open and i will review it since i never have on my channel so this is another review to expect sometime this weekend so that is my quick little toy haul and unboxing video for you i hope you enjoyed it if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it oh well i guess you didn't like it but thanks for watching i will see you later